Hey guys, it's Roscoe and on Space Coach today it's time for a Reaction Engines update. It's a company I've always been fascinated by and in fact it was one of the very first videos that I did about Skyline on the Hotel. So they're the ones that are doing that amazing Sabre engine that's going to cool the air down so fast and make it that it could be installed on a single stage orbit space plane or on an advanced um, class of airliners in the future. So they had that um, technical audit from the European Space Agency, I believe it was, a couple of years ago that proved the concept that the engine was actually a thing and not just a pipe dream. Now, Boeing and the Horizon X, uh, it's like their investment arm for cutting edge technologies, they've invested £26.5 million into this in the last week or so, which is fantastic news, as has Rolls-Royce. Well, they haven't invested that same amount. Rolls-Royce have also invested. It's interesting because I think Rolls-Royce were the original owners, as it were, of that kind of design back in the hotel day. So that's kind of coming back around, which is nice. Now, they've also... Um, BAE, as you may recall previously, they'd invested um, some money in it, as had the UK government. Um, BAE is increasing its holding as well, which is good. And there's also, I think it's uh, Bailey Gifford Asset Management and um, Neil Woodford, the investor, his investment funds, they're also investing in it. So it's got apparently over 90% British ownership, which is great. Now, as you know, I'm very keen on this concept. However, I have to admit, I do wonder now that we are in the age of reusable rockets, whether its chance for that has passed. You know, the single stage to orbit space plane, the Skylon. I think it may have passed, which is a shame. But I still think the engine has definitely got a very high chance of being mated to a vehicle at some point. I mean, Rolls-Royce and Boeing, what are they known for? I can't think what they're known for. One does engines, one does planes. So they're both obviously looking perhaps to the next stage of engine development for airliners and high speed um, aircraft. Probably at first it will be military aircraft, of course, because isn't it always. They've had hypersonic planes for a long time already. Um, but as for commercial aircraft, that could indeed be where this leads to. It wouldn't be the Skylon vehicle, it would be a standard airliner, as it were, with the engines that allow it to go so high and so fast and to cut journey time. So it was, I think, four hours anywhere on the globe using that um, type of engine and vehicle. But obviously the upcoming BFR, assuming it ever does do passenger flights on Earth, it's about 30 or 40 minutes at most. So I don't know uh, if it has got um, a chance to compete against that. But yes, it's very exciting to see um, an update on Skylar, oh, well not on Skylar, but on reaction engines because it's a fantastic British technical achievement one which we can all be very proud and I would be absolutely delighted if some sort of reaction engine slash Rolls-Royce um, engine made onto a Boeing airline or an Airbus airline or something else in due course it would be absolutely fantastic it would certainly would cut down the um, it wouldn't cut down the cost of travel probably it would certainly would cut down on the time involved but like I say as for its original mission of deploying satellites in low earth orbit and all that I think that time has passed for it unfortunately um, but there will always be other applications that we can use for it because of various spin-off technologies that will no doubt come from that engine in due course but I thought it was time we had a look at reaction engines again it has been quite some time since there was really any update from them I think the last time was when they got that investment from the British government several years ago. But yes, Reaction Engines, investment from Lockheed, uh, not Lockheed, apologies, <laughs> from Rolls-Royce and Boeing. Very exciting for the future and where it might lead. Please subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed this content. Leave me a comment suggestion for a coming topic you'd like to see discussed or like the video.